Hi, everybody. Uh, so good morning or good afternoon, depending on what period you are. Um, I have a little bit more for you in Soundtrap today. So we're going to be focused on Soundtrap. Hope you brought your laptop to class. If not, I know Miss Graham will loan you an iPad. Um, you also need your headphones, but pretty much that's all you need because I'm going to show you right now what it is we're going to be doing with these projects. So and I think it's kind of fun. I hope you'll find it fun too. So I'm going to add some things to it and add some tracks. Hopefully by now you've already finished um, a drum track, a percussion line made from loops. And we brought those loops in and we kind of put those together. And um, what I'd like you to think about next, and this is really sort of an inspiration, is um, a sound from a favorite movie or TV show. Um, and it can be anything, like if there's a, a famous thing that uh, maybe a character says that you like. Um, I was thinking like, I like Shrek. I think Shrek is very funny. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out to the internet. We're going to use the web to find um, a short clip, a sound effect of, of one of our favorite characters saying something. Okay, And we're going to take that and we're going to import that into our soundtrack project with the beats. So that's going to be kind of fun and everyone's will be obviously unique and a little bit different because you're probably going to think of something different. Um, so let me show you first of all how to find that sound because we kind of want to do that first so that we have have our inspiration. And it might take you a little while to think of something, uh, to come up with something that you 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 do like, uh, but just think of favorite, favorite movies or favorite TV shows. Um, those Those can be good places to start. Um, you can also just pull in sound effects. There are generic sound effects out there, you know, and say like, oh, I want a siren. You know, you can find those on the web too. Um, <clears throat> let me share my screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I um, had a couple thoughts in mind. Like I mentioned, um, I really like Shrek and I thought about um, finding something from the sound of Shrek. So I just wanted to share with you um, where I found that and what you can do is you can simply go obviously to you know whatever your um, internet browser is that you like to use and one really great one is moviesoundclips.net and I'll, I'll put that website in the teams too they have lots and lots of of quotes and things that are really fun and easy to use and right now I happen to be in the TV sound clips, but there are also lots for movies. So if I clicked on the movies and I mean, wow, so many movies. Maybe you want to bring in something from the Avengers movies or something like that. Uh, but as I mentioned, I was thinking about Shrek. Let me go to R through Z, right? And see if they have Shrek here. Oh, yep. And there's Shrek. Man, I'll tell you one thing I really love is when... Um, uh, what's his name? The wooden, the wooden boy, Pinocchio. Duh, couldn't think of it. Pinocchio says, "I'm a real." Oh, look, I'm not a puppet. I'm a real boy. Boom, found it. Uh, let's check it out. I'm not a puppet. I'm a real boy. Wouldn't that sound I'm great? A I'm a real boy. Wouldn't that sound great in my recording? So, for example, I could simply download that sound. You can see that here from this website. You can either grab it as a WAV file an mp3, an OGG, I, I have to be honest, I've never used those, I don't know what that is. I'm pretty sure that Soundtrap will use either a WAV or an mp3. I'm going to recommend mp3. So you can see when I hover my mouse there, it says, do you want to download this? And yeah, you can just download that. And um, now PCs look slightly different, guys, you know I'm on a Mac, but it shows me here that I can um, save this file. Just click OK, and it's downloading right here, and it went to my Downloads folder, and, and there it is, and I can open that right on my computer now. I don't need the web. It's it's there in my Downloads folder. I'm not a puppet. I'm a real boy. Actually, it just went to my iTunes, um, but probably your best bet would be to take that file out of your Downloads and the downloads folder looks the same on a Mac or a PC and you could just ah there it is boy mp3 and what I would do if I were you everybody I'm sorry I hope you're able to see that 
but it's there in my downloads, is click and drag that to the desktop. That way you can bring that in. Now, that's, that's a good idea, but you know what? I had a better idea after that, and I'm really obsessed with the show The Mandalorian. And I thought, I love it when he says, this is the way, this is the way. So I wanted to use that in my piece. So that, that ended up being the one that I wanted to use. So let me show you. I just went out there again to the web and I actually had typed in, um, this is the way free sound clip. And I did find, here it is, a little clip. And sometimes they'll use the word soundboard or something like that. And they have those free clips. This is the way. <laughs> there he is. I love it. This is the way. So I wanted to use that. Now, sometimes they'll give you the option to download it and sometimes they won't. This one kind of looks like it doesn't, but if you look real carefully, I've got a link here and then another icon that says download. Yes, I can download this one. So I'm gonna click it and oh, it's gonna ask me a couple questions. I am human. Okay, hopefully this isn't gonna be too hard. Everyone that's a boat. Oh, this is gonna be fun. These look like buses to me, right? Is that a boat? I can't even tell. That's definitely a boat. I think that's a, that's a boat, that's a boat, that's a boat. Did I get it right? Maybe not. Uh -huh. Let me try again. Definitely a boat. That's a truck. Boat, boat, that's a motorcycle. Train? No. Boat? I think I'm cool. All right, I hope I don't have to do this too many times. Yay! All right, there it is. So it's saying my computer is telling me you're choosing to open that. I'm saving that file and that file is going to my downloads folder and I'm gonna scoot that out of the downloads and I'm gonna bring it right onto the desktop of my computer so it's really easy to find. Um, hopefully you're not too confused by that but that's, that's what I want you to do. First is get inspired, think of something that you really like and find a sound clip that you can download. And it might be a little frustrating at first, guys. Some sound effects you'll find ah, wouldn't let me download or I couldn't see how to do it. So you might spend a little time, if it takes a while to find one that you can grab and download to your computer, um, take your time, but hang in there, persevere it and really try it, okay? So, okay, I know I'm not sharing my screen right now, but what I'm doing while I'm talking to you is I'm going to my downloads folder and I'm grabbing that Mandalorian sound clip and I'm dragging that MP3 version to my desktop so I can find it really easily. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close everything except for my project. So let me share my screen with you again and share my project with you um, just as you guys have seen. And so here we go, do a little share. And hopefully from class yesterday or two days ago, depending if you're maroon or gold, you remember that I had two different drum beats. Now, maybe mine's looking a little different to you right now. Things uh, are looking stretched out. And that's because I went down here to the zoom in, zoom out. And I kind of zoomed out so I could see everything. But it's all still there. My first beat. Yeah. My little break beat, something different. Yeah, like that. And then I brought back my last one. Okay. Now, this, this is optional because I'm listening to what I have so far and I'd actually like to maybe add just a few things. You can do this if you want to. If, if you feel like ah, this is too much, I'm getting a little confused. You don't have to do it. But I'm gonna go back to the loops and I, I actually really would like some bass in there. And I think a bass sounds great. And so I'm gonna look around at some of the bass parts and I wanna add um, a bass part to all of this. My gosh, there's so many, there's lots. Um, let me go, no PQR. Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just try some. You know, that sounds kind of spacey and like the Mandalorian. I'm gonna bring that one in and use that with my first part. Ooh, that's too long. I don't want it to spill in to my break part. I'm gonna just make it just short enough to fit in. Okay, let me see what that sounds like. I think that sounds cool. 
see what this bass part sounds like with the drum track. Let's see if they fit. Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm really happy with that. In fact, I'm going to take that and I'm going to use that again. So I'm going to click on it, do my old edit. You guys have seen me do this before. Copy, bring it over, and I'm going to paste it right here. Now, guys, since we have so many tracks, don't get confused. I have to pick the right track. Right now, the base one is, is bright white. The others are kind of gray. So I need to make sure Soundtrack knows. I want to paste that here. You can't paste it up here with your drums. That just won't work. So you got to make sure you, you click that track. And I'm going to paste it. Command V. And I did the shortcut. All right. Cool. Yeah, I really like that. Awesome. And then my break. Yeah. So with my break, I'd like to find something completely different. Um, and let me erase my search for bass and just go back to everything. And what about something on a synthesizer? Again, something kind of spacey to go with my Mandalorian theme. Um, and again, I, I would just take a minute to kind of sample these. Fuzzy Pulse? I mean, come on, what is that? Oh. Woo, yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, I'm gonna bring that in to play with my break. And okay, I'm gonna just bring that in a little bit more. And that fits with my break. I hope that fits. I'm gonna, I feel like that was pretty strong. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit by affecting the volume here. Okay, let's hear what that kind of sounds like. Okay, break. Oh yeah, I love it. And back. Okay, cool. So those two parts, bringing in a bass part and a synth part, that's that's completely up to you. You don't you don't have to do that, but I thought that's kind of fun. All right. So I added two two other parts to my bass uh, to my drum track. So I've got bass and just kind of a synthesizer thing. Uh, could be anything you want, guys. If you want to use the loops, if you want to use a traditional instrument like a guitar or an accordion, whatever, it's it's okay. Um, just don't make too many crazy tracks. Now, bringing in my Mandalorian quote, and this is fun. And this this will be kind of the minimum of what I need for you to do. So I'm going to go back and share my screen. Kind of excited to bring this in. How do I bring in a completely different sound into Soundtrap? So here's what I'm going to do. Um, you can see that um, down here, these things are all gray, but oh, what's this one? Import file. That's exactly what I want to do. I want to import that Mandalorian file. So I'm going to click import file. It's going to let me browse and ah, look what I found. This is the way. I put that on the desktop so it became easy to find. And so I'm just going to click there and I'm going to open that. Oh, I think it's there. Do you see it? It's this little blue thing. Okay, now this is why I zoomed in down here on the magnifying glasses so I could really kind of see it. And you see by pressing plus, it stretches things out. It doesn't make them longer. It just stretches them out so I can see them better or get in more detail. Oh yeah, this is the way. There it is, let's see, does that, does that play? This is the way. Oh yeah, perfect, I love that. Now what I'd like you guys to do. This is the way. Yeah, I like the way that fits, but I kind of want to shorten that up and make it even a little bit more rhythmic. So I am going to just clip this just a little bit. Um, how do I clip it? Well, let's look. First of all, we have a thing called the grid. Right now, my grid is showing me all these little increments. And trust me, you want the grid to show lots of increments, okay? So one to one would be very few increments. And what that's telling you is you can only control it one to one. Like I can only move it in a measure. But what I want to do now, I want really fine control. So what I would do and what I'd like you all to do is go one to 30 second notes. That's going to give you as many possible little dashes up here so I can scooch it even a little bit or a lot of it if I want. Okay. So I'm having the grid go to 30 second note. Now what I want to do, I'm going to close this in just a little bit. And I think that's shortened up my Mando quote. This is the way. I feel like that's right on the beat. This is the way. And that's what I want. I want this to be right on the beat. 
I want you guys to kind of affect this so it'll sound like it really belongs to the rhythm. So if I'm happy with that, now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna edit, copy. I'm gonna try, let me see, I think if I put this right on the first beat of the next measure, that'll sound pretty good. Let's check this out. This is the way, this is the way. I like that. I'm gonna do that again. Beat four, this is the way. Beat five, this is the way, okay? Now I got a bunch of them and they fit, don't they? This is the way, this is the way. This is the way, this is the way. That's pretty cool, I like that. Now, I also can clip it down a little bit further. And some of you might say, you know what, Mr. Wall, it would sound better if it was just, that, that third one was a little earlier. I, I might agree with you if we just put it on beat three and beat four. Or even having that fourth one just a little earlier. Some of you say, that might sound better. This is the way, this is the way. That sounds kind of cool. He's kind of going along with the bass part now. Let's take one last minute. Okay, and I would copy and paste these throughout, by the way. Let's take one last minute and let's cut it down even further, okay? If I put my cursor right in there, I can kind of see where he's saying way. You see the shapes? The way. I guess I get the way, all right? That's cool. Let's split that, all right? So edit, and I'm looking to split that region and take just the, the way. And I'm gonna even tighten that up. The way. And I'm gonna copy and paste a whole bunch of those. So Command C, and I'm gonna get crazy, and Command V, 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 V. Oop. V, V. I don't know if that's on the beat or not, but let's listen, you ready? This is the way. This is the way, the way, the way, the way. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool, I like that. All right, and so that's basically it, guys, bringing in another sound, and if you want to um, put some other parts in there, your bass part, your um, synthesizer part, and uh, just have fun with it, okay? So hopefully you'll find a sound, I would do that first, find your sound first, because that's kind of your inspiration, and um, bring that in, okay? Okay, so it's Thursday or it's Friday, and uh, I hope you enjoy this and have fun with your, your Soundtrap project. Um, I will see you with uh, uh, one more piece of this, one more little piece of this assignment on Monday, okay? Thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and uh, I'll, I'll see you next week. Thank you.